Alright, this is custom mods, tutorial, XCM fans. Alright, so this is what your Xbox should look like now. Well, I guess your disk drive might look a little different, but what you're trying to do is get this, undo both of these cords, simply pop off, remove your disk tray. Should look like this now. And in your box with the XCM fan, you should have gotten this cord, uh, this fan, this is the slanted fan, and this is straight up fan. And you should also should have got this cord, not attached, but just the cord. And this splitter. Alright, so first what you want to do is grab the splitter and where your disk drive plugs in right here, you want to plug it into that. that and it's your choice you can stick it on there there's a sticky pad on the bottom or not and then that goes into your dish tray but I choose not to and then uh, all these should have sticky pads on them one two three and one on the bottom there and this one will be placed right about here over this heat sink and it should just slide in there and stick there and you can put this little clipper here in there all right and then this one will go right there and you should feel it go all the way down uh, you want the sticky pad to be right on top of this box here and you try to record that goes right past it and then it should stick on top of that box it should be pretty sturdy in there all right now this cord here will run to this so when I grab that there should be a little slot right here put it in so it's supposed to go in here all right now we got that plugged in uh, now we need to put this little cord in. This little cord will attach from here. Sorry. Um, one moment. We'll attach into this one. Well, it will attach from this one to the other one. So this cord will go from right there, that little plug in there, to right there. I'm not going to plug it in because it's hard to do with one hand. And, well, the result when you turn it on should be something a little bit like this. One moment. Yeah, I know what I'll do. Only one will run for me because I didn't put the splitter in, but here we are. There you go. It's plugged in. You can put your disk drive in back in normal just with those two cords. Alright, thanks.